Hello everybody, this is Dan Vasiliu from uh, Radio Romania Cultural and you just saw the street where my new office is uh, located, somewhere around 60 kilometers from my usual office at uh, Radio Romania. If somebody would have told me a few months ago that I was to work daily from here, I would have probably told him that he's crazy, this is impossible. But here I am at the end of April trying to adapt to the new situation. Obviously, when you work for radio, the sound quality is very, very important. But now, when I'm recording something, I have to stop quite often, either because a dog is barking or some birds are chirping on the windowsill. But even if the whole process is getting longer, I try to see the amusing bits in this uh, context. I have to admit that in the first days of the pandemic, I had a moral dilemma. Is it okay as a journalist to live and isolate in such a distant place? Watching the pandemic evolve, I realized that there aren't many things you could do and avoiding the risk of infection allows me to do my job and to protect my family at the same time. So uh, moving to the countryside, I think it was a wise decision after all. From here I can contribute and I can help my other colleagues at Radio Romania Cultural, our programs have been adapted accordingly. So now we have uh, constant updates of the situation in the entire world, focusing obviously on uh, Romania. While recording this clip, the number of infections in my country is uh, approaching 10,000 and the number of deaths it's uh, bigger than uh, 500, but like everywhere else in the world, the situation is changing rapidly and uh, we as journalists of the public radio have the duty to inform our listeners quickly and accurate and advise them to respect the measures put in place by the authorities. Of course, we must uh, keep a balance between the time dedicated to this pandemic and our regular uh, schedule because we all need a little bit of normality in our lives. My uh, radio being one focused on culture increased the number of radio plays broadcasted. We are airing a lot of classical concerts and audiobooks read by some of the best known actors in the country and our daily playlist was changed so we can play more Romanian music trying this way to help the Romanian artists affected by uh, the pandemic. Finally, I would like to send my best wishes to my fellow colleagues from around the world. Keep up the good work, guys, and hope for the best. And also, I would like to thank the people in the healthcare system, the grocery sellers and all the other ones on the front line that are risking their lives every day for us. A big, big thank you. That's it from Romania. All the best.